What's up guys, The Hackspot here, and today Apple did release the public beta of iOS 13. Now, we got it a little bit early, we were expecting it to drop in July, but I mean, who is complaining? We wanted the public beta, we have it now early, so let's jump right in. All right, now to start with, if you are already on the iOS 13 beta 1 or 2, the developer beta that came out before the public beta, then you don't have to do anything. You will receive updates more quickly than the public beta, so stay on there and every time there's a new update it should be in settings and software update and you should be able to update from there if not if the new update does not show over there you can just always just update from betaprofiles.com again you just go down over here select download and they will have the latest and newest most up-to-date beta of ios 13 so if you're already on ios 13 beta no action is required but if you're on ios 12 or 11 or whatever you're on and you were waiting for the public beta it is now out and here's how to install it all right so first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser click on the link that'll be down below in the description it should bring you right over here now once over here to the main page of the apple beta software program you want to go in and click on that blue sign up button and it'll bring it to a new page where you're just going to sign in with your apple id and password now when signing in it will ask you for a verification code and they'll bring you to this agreement page over here all you gotta do is agree to the terms and hit accept okay that was weird i got an error but I, all i did was refresh the page and now we are over here. So this is the page that you should get. Again, it should look very similar. You want to just tap on get started over there. And it'll bring you over here where you can tap on iOS, Mac OS, iPad OS, whatever you have. So I am on iOS, just the iPhone. So I'm gonna tap that. If you have the iPad right there, you're gonna go and tap on iPad OS. So I'm just gonna go and scroll down. There's iOS 13, keeps going down. You guys can see they do say to back up your device just to make sure that if anything does go wrong, you will have all your data backed up. But anyways, what you want to do is scroll up over here to enroll your iOS device underneath get started so going to tap right there and again they really emphasize that you back up your device first just to make sure that you don't lose any data if anything does happen to go wrong nothing will for the most part but just in case there's that slight sliver of chance <laughs> that was a very weird sentence but anyway it's going to hit download profile and it will go ahead and bring this up just hit allow and close so once you are there go and open up the settings application you can either go to the profile download tab that will appear right there or you could get over to general and then head over to profiles and device management at the very bottom. And here again, you will see the public beta. So all you would have to do is go in and tap on it, hit install on the top right, type in your passcode, and you just have to agree to all this install and then install again. And then it would ask you to restart your device, tap on restart. All right, so now we're back at the lock screen. Let's go to unlock our device. And here we are. So now what you wanna do is open up the settings application again, head over to general, then this time software update. Here you will see the iOS 13 software update. Now all you have to do is, do is just go to tap on that and hit install and update. The regular spiel, but yeah, I already have iOS 13 beta two on this device, so it's not showing up, but that's how you would do it if you're on iOS 11 or iOS 12. So yeah, guys, enjoy the public beta. There's many more videos to come, so make sure that you get subscribed. As always, make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. This is the Hack Spot. Thank you all for watching, and peace out.